What's going on guys? In today's video we will be talking about how to rank your product on page one and all the new updates about Amazon in 2018. So be sure you stay tuned. What's going on guys? Bashar Ketu here, Amazon a seller from beautiful San Diego. In today's video we'll be going over a few different changes that Amazon have made in the past few months that made it kind of difficult for FBA sellers to rank their product. However, it also um, excluded a lot of the competition. So now it is a lot easier for you know us FBA sellers that know what we are doing to actually rank our product on page one rather than just you know competing with a bunch of you know people that don't know exactly what they're doing and they just happen to you know, stumble upon uh, success, let's say. So I actually made a, a pretty long list here of new updates that I would like to share with you guys. Now, this will be probably one video of a few, uh, few video series that we'll be talking about how to rank your product on page one as there are a lot of things to cover. There are a lot of things that actually go into the, you know, the equation of ranking your product. It's not just about, you know, get it you know well i mean it all really starts with finding a profitable product a product that has high demand you know because even if you rank on page one with a product that doesn't have demand there's really no point of it right you're just wasting money you're wasting time and sometimes and a lot of times actually i get contacted by many people literally tens of people every day saying hey how do i get my product to page one well it's not like you're just gonna go on amazon and call them and say hey how much is it going to cost for me to, you know, to uh, put my product on page one? However, the thing is that Amazon has a few different things that have to do with the algorithm that helps you or gets you ranking on page one or, you know, pretty much uh, uh, raises the where uh, your product ranks, right, for specific keywords. And it's not just ranking on, on page one. You have to first know what your product is, you know, do the research about your keywords and understand exactly where and who you want to be visible to. Sometimes you may be, you know, ranking for keywords on page one, but that specific keyword has nothing to do with your product. Or a lot of times, you know, you, you, people will find you, they will click on your product, but then they just will not buy because the, you're ranking for the wrong keywords. You know what I mean? So let's say, okay, you know, cell phone case, you know, like iPhone. So this is an iPhone 6 Plus case, right? So if you were to rank on page one for, let's say, iPhone cover case, you know, or iPhone cover, you know, although that's a very broad, you know, uh, um, keyword and it actually has a really good volume, search volume. However, you know, you have people that are searching for iPhone 5, iPhone even 4, iPhone 6, iPhone 6S, 6 Plus, whatever, 8, 10, whatever the hell it is. So you have all these people that will be clicking on your product and wasting your money, your PPC money, if you're running paid ads, or just click on your product and you're ranking for those keywords, and you're just not getting any any uh, uh, any conversion, you know. So you need to understand first that you need to find the right products and rank, or the right keywords and rank for them, right? Now, aside from the actual keywords and the whole you know paid per click uh, campaigns, we're gonna be you know, we're going to cover all that in a different video probably tomorrow or the day after. However, in today's video, there are a few um, specific uh, uh, topics or a few specific points that I really need to make clear that you guys need to understand. And those also going to go in my, uh, uh, in my course, but a lot more detailed. I will actually be on screen showing exactly how I would do it, you know. If I were to do it, and I actually have made a lot of changes to all of my listings to make sure that they actually reflect these changes, right? And um, this cheat sheet will be also available for you guys to download on my YouTube channel, or I mean on my website. Um, so let's go ahead and actually talk about the listing itself, taking it up from the title and going down. So now your titles cannot exceed more than 80 characters. And they call them bytes, B-Y-T-E-S. So specific, um, specific characters or specific, uh, uh, um, what do you call them? A uh, specific, uh, what's the word? Uh, uh, yeah, specific characters 
can have more than one byte, and the title cannot have more than 80. Now, different categories have different uh, uh, regulations, but on average, 80 is kind of the safe number, and what happens is a lot of times over 80, the system just stops reading your title, okay? And also, try to stay away from using special characters in your title, like uh, uh, like dashes, slashes, um, parentheses, explanation points, um, uh, 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 like hashtags, at, like the little trademark thing, you know? Try to stay away from all those. If you really must, use dashes are okay, but I try to stay away from them as much as possible uh, because the system now stops rating all that and literally it stops at that you know uh, special character and then does not read anything after that. So title not more than 80. Once again, it changes from um, from category to category, but for the most part is 80, right? Um, also, do not use words like bonus or free or anything that's promotional in your titles because it is against Amazon's uh, uh, policy. When it comes to features, stop using um, non-supported HTML codes. And what I mean by that is, uh, you know, and even in my course I used to teach where you, um, you know, it would be uh, beneficial to use check marks or some type of, you know, I've seen even emojis, you know, being used. Stop using those. HTML codes should not be used in uh, product features at all because Amazon already, and now actually Amazon already puts a bullet point next to it so you don't even have to worry about that. And Amazon has it very nice and organized, unlike the description, Amazon has it all nice and, and, and uh, organized so you don't need to put anything and actually, um, when you use non-supported HTML codes, which are like special characters, like check marks and whatnot, Amazon or the system does not read what comes after. And as you guys may know, that the features, the product features, and the description are actually uh, searched or uh, a spot where you know you you could import or insert um, search terms. Okay, so it is searchable. Um, not more than 120 characters per line and not more than 500 in total. So that you have, you know, you have a total of five, not more than 120, but not more than uh, 500 all together, right? All five, uh, above or, I mean, among all five, right? Um, description, HTML codes are okay. Um, let's see here. Use, use search terms in the, the description. So if there is any uh, um, search term that you could not cover in your title or in your features, use them in the description. And make sure that the title is the one and number one thing that the system searches. So all your major titles or all your major keywords, make sure you put them in your title. However, it cannot be more than 80 characters. So it's going to be decently short, okay? And try to include the company name. Amazon suggests that you put it in the beginning. I'd like to put it at the end, like literally the last thing. And I would like to have the first word of my titles to be the, the most searched for or what the product it really is. So if you're selling, you know, a, a phone case or a, you know, an iPhone case, I would just literally say iPhone case. And then after that, you could put, you know, what it is, like a six, you know, or even iPhone six case. And then from there, you could put red, you know, uh, uh, sex plus or whatever, you know, like the size, the color. If there is a variation, you can put it after that. However, those are the main things when it comes to um, ranking your product on page one and helping your ranking increase. Title, not more than 80. Features, not more than 120 per and not more than 500 altogether. Description, HTML codes are fine, and I've made a video about that. And also uh, make sure that you're using search terms in there they want to rank for, or even search terms that you're trying to run PPC ads for, okay? Now, in the later video, I will be talking about the backend keywords because that whole game has changed dramatically. And it's not like before where you just cramp a bunch of keywords. Um, and also another thing I will be talking about is uh, campaigns. So I'll probably, this will probably be a three- uh, video series. So this time it's going to be about title, features, and description. Next time it's going to be about um, about backend keywords, and then the later video will be about uh, 
uh, promotions and PPC campaigns. So guys, once again, best shot I get to hear Amazon to be a seller. If you guys have any questions, if there is you know additional help you guys need, everything that I just talked about is included in my course, but in a lot more in depth. And it is actually, you know, I, I go on screen, I show exactly how I would personally do it. So if you guys need to really, you know, take this to the next level, I suggest that you guys either comment info below or just send me a message. The first link is going to be to my uh, mentorship program uh, where you can actually join today. I also have a link to my group. That if you guys have any questions or just want to join other sellers worldwide, my group now has over 4,000 uh, subscribers. So be sure that you guys are joining these resources that are available to you. Also, if you love this video, smash thumbs up button and click the subscribe button. And also let me know if there's anything in the future you guys want me to cover. Aside from that, guys, best shortcut to here, Amazon BA seller from beautiful San Diego. I'll see you guys in the next video. And you all have a great day. Take care.